Hello, beautiful souls. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Monday. It's um, the beginning of a new week. Um, a lot of people are um, going through, through, how should I say this? <laughs> the energies are very, very strong right now. You guys are going to feel, <clears throat> excuse me, the fiery inside of you wanting to come out, <laughs> um, trying to come out. Like some of you are just going to get up one day and say, you know what, fuck this. I'm going to do what I love to do and you're just going to do it. Um, some of you are going to uh, be feeling very, very, very sleepy and tired. Um, you're not sleeping much right now, but it's okay. Just rest as much as you can. Stay hydrated as much as you can. Um, you're going to be, um, if you, you're not already, or if you just did, you're going to be going through a lot of, um, how, how should I say this? Like nightmares. Okay. Don't be afraid. Be fearless. Okay. That's the number one thing that I, that I always tell people is to be fearless of anything except even if something, you know, shitty happens to you, it's okay. Don't worry about it because the bad stuff, if you want to call it bad, it does it doesn't stay with you forever, okay? Because it everything is happening for you, not to you. Okay? So if anything happens that you didn't like, it's okay. Just embrace it and release it and just say, you know what? It's happening for a reason so that I can close that door and open up a new one for myself. Ask your angels to help you. They're always there just waiting to assist you. Try to follow your synchronicities as much as you can. Right now, there's a lot of synchronicities going through. If you're seeing repeating numbers, try to follow them. Whatever, Whenever you see a repeating number that you keep seeing every day more than two or three times a day that's because it's a synchronicity and your angels are trying to get your attention to help you okay um if you have any questions you want to send me a, a email to ask me about the specific numbers that you're that you're seeing go ahead and send me an email and i'll try to help you and explain to you what you're going through okay it's at soul lover energy healer at gmail.com and also um a lot of nightmares. Okay, try to write down your 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 dreams. If you're having really bad ones, just try to write them down, and then let a couple of days pass, and then go back and then read it again. That should trigger you to um, to remember more stuff. Usually, when we when something you know not so great happens to us, when you're thinking about it, you right away think of of the solution. But some of us just think of the solution and then forget about it. But try to remember that solution because that's usually the solution to your issue. Okay, so um, try to keep that in mind. Also, um, a lot of water. Try to drink a lot of water with lemon. Okay, um, a fresh lemon. Squeeze some lemon into your water and try to um, put some mint in there. Um, that's really good. That helps. That has helped me a lot, so much, especially during the summer. Um, try to sweat as much as you can. Try to detox for the next three to four weeks because this is we're in retrograde right now. So a lot of the the stuff is a lot of the muck is coming out. Okay, um, a lot of negative thoughts are going to be coming up, but it's okay. Just embrace them and release them. And know that everything that is happening, whether it's, if you still see the good and bad portion of it, it's okay. Just know that it's happening for you. It's not happening to you, okay? Um, also, try to wear like a lot of bright colors, orange, yellows, whites, pinks. Um, try to wear a lot of rainbow colors, okay? A lot of the... Um, violet the violet flame i felt it yesterday when i was meditating it was so beautiful at the same time i had a lot of visions yesterday when i meditated of darkness that's why i'm telling some some of you that you're going to be going through the dark night of the soul um i saw a lot of faces with uh blood on them and stuff like that but i wasn't afraid so that means it's just um, you're going to be facing a lot of um, situations 
believe me, I already did already. They've passed already, but you're going to be dealing with a few situations that are, you're not going to, they're not going to make you feel all that great, but it's okay. As long as you breathe through everything and keep your vibration high, you know, don't try, try not to think about the the bad stuff so much you know there is no bad or right there just there is no bad or good there just is okay and know that everything that is happening for you whether it is good or bad um it's happening for you not to you don't take it personal okay um but most of that i saw it was only a few visions okay and most of you are, are going to be letting go of feelings of people that have passed before you or right now there there's, you know, people that are passing away that are tired already and they're done with the ascension and they just want to move on. You know, they're passing, but it's okay. You know, just know that they're there with you all the time. Um, their spirit, the spirit never dies. We're multi-dimensional infinite beings of love and light okay people um death is a beautiful thing because they get to go through the light pass it and then move on to the to the next journey which is reincarnating again or going to another dimension and living another life um but they're always with us their spirit a little piece of their spirit is inside of each of us because we are all one okay so whenever you're missing your your mom your dad that have passed you know you're remembering an anniversary stuff like that it's okay to remember it and be sad for a little while but just don't sit on on the sadness because that's what brings your vibration down try to just keep it up remember the good times that you had with them that's what I do you know both my parents have passed and they were both very very um hard um situations that I went through um and then you know my grandparents that were super super dear to me that I that they helped raise me you know they were so loving to me all the time um they their their life was very very um uh, warm to me and and very important to me but I've learned to let the sadness go because they're always with me they always come and visit me whether it be in dirt like a butterfly or a bird or um, I can smell them sometimes you know they're always with me and they come in my dreams as well and give me messages for my family sometimes so I'm always seeing them I'm always I always ask them for help and they're always there to guide me and protect me so that's why I know that they're always with me there you know there is no such thing as death you know it's just we the the human vessel is what goes away because it gets old and full of crap so the spirit doesn't want to be in that anymore so they decide to move on to the next okay but we're all one so we're all connected in every single way shape or form um spirituality is such a beautiful beautiful thing and um just know that your loved ones that have passed on are there with you all the time all you have to do is just call on them and tell you you need i mean and you tell them that you know send me a little message to show me that you're here with me and that's all you're gonna need and you're gonna it's gonna make you feel amazing inside okay so that's what you can do um if you're remembering a loved one right now you know um also take try to take your baths try to get into the beach a lot um right now it's like fire season so um if you have your if you if you're used to turning on your candle go ahead and turn on a candle and try to put your hands above the flame like this and and then just try to put it all over your body and receive the beautiful energy of the flame right now okay and then try to balance it out by going out into the beach or taking you know a bath at least once or twice a week with um salt bath or epsom salt or himalayan pink salt or your bath bombs whatever you want that makes you feel good inside and turn on a candle and just receive that beautiful beautiful violet flame energy the rainbow energy as well right now 
it's so beautiful also in another vision also that I had um, after I had the the, the faces of, of with blood on them um, I just think we're releasing our past lives that we've had where we've done things that you know maybe we're not good for the collective or for ourselves and we're just releasing all that muck that's all it is um, I saw again um, I was shown a, a bunch of rainbows just everywhere and right now that's what they're their the visions that I'm receiving is it's all about trying to keep your vibration up um, trying to manifest your your life into what you want to do now you've helped so many people already um, now it's time to to, for you okay try to remember when you were a child and how carefree you were how free spirited you were and um, that's going to help you out through the bad times or through the good times it doesn't matter but try to have memories of when you were as as young as you can try to remember and um, and that's going to help you get through this you know this fire season and through the retrograde that's going on right now even though the fire season is not bad you know but it, it's usually warmer than usual and we release a lot of um, negative um, things that no longer serve us anymore whether it may be you know a job or a relationship or a friendship any type of relationship or <clears throat> situations you know um, they're good to be it's good to release them right now um also i i have candles i do a lot of candle magic and rituals and um i can help you with that to release you know what no longer serves um and what else what else i also do tarot reading so if you guys need a t your tarot reading go ahead and send me an email or a direct message so that we can set up an appointment um and I also do healing. Uh, I'm a Reiki master. I also do energy healing. And I do crystal healing as well. I use um, crystal healing. I also serve Hape and Sananga. Okay. Um, and I also wanted to take a moment and tell everyone, thank you, thank you. I am so, so grateful and thankful to everyone for the donations that I have been receiving and for all the good um, messages and the support that you guys send me. Thank you very much. Um, and what else? What else? Yes. And don't forget to, to try and um, wear rainbow colors, wear a lot of rainbow colors because the more vibrant you are feeling and the more vibrant you dress up, um, you will keep your vibration high and that helps a lot. Okay, to keep yourself in in good spirits and um, yeah, and don't try try not to drink alcohol during these next couple of months. Try not to drink so much. If you a heavy drinker, try not to, because <laughs> um, it's just I don't know. They keep telling me that it's not good right now to drink. Even though I really don't drink, I only drink um, here and there, maybe once or twice a month. I'll drink some uh, wine. Um, but if you are going to drink, try to stay away from the darker stuff. Try try to stay in, in, in the lighter drinks, okay? And try to eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. Um, Light-colored stuff is really good. Um, oh, avocado. They're saying uh, organic avocado right now. Try to eat as much as you can for the non-meat eaters. Um, Avocado is, is a really good substitute for protein. Um, just try to eat protein stuff that is, you know. Um, and your meats, um, try to stay away from, from pork. No pork. If Try to stay away from red meat as well. If you, you should buy, not sh you should buy. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But um, maybe if you buy organic meats, that'll help out a lot for your, through your ascension. Because, um. The lighter your body is, the better your ascension is, the, the, the better you're going to feel going through it, okay? It won't be so harsh. And what else, what else, what else would I going to tell you guys? Uh, September's coming, August is coming up, okay? Um, 
August appointment book is open. So if you guys need an appointment in August for your reading or any healing or any candle magic, go ahead and set up an appointment with me. We can meet. I can either go to your home or you can come to mine or we can meet up somewhere. Okay. Or I also do online readings. Um, I also do um, 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 video chat readings and in-person readings. Okay, everyone, um, I think that's it for now. If I have any other messages, I will go ahead and go on again. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys, have an awesome, awesome, great week. Okay, um, try to stay positive all the time. And if, you know, you get upset or anything, just let it go. Let that shit go. <laughs> all right, namaste, beautiful souls. Have an awesome week.